Even so, the first sight was shocking. Her skin was the color of vanilla pudding. Her hair was in rats. Her nails chipped and broken. There was dust on her. She sat in a ghastly sludge of feces, urine, and vomit. These were only part of what I had smelled. The predominant odor was a fresh baked bread. It is the smell of a person who is starving to death. I turned her chair to where she could see me, and she did not see me. That was probably as well because I had just noticed the two most horrible things. The first was the smile. It was a smile of perfect, transcendent ecstasy. Or at least it had been days before. Now the muscles of her face were baked into that position, a frozen rictus. But the smile suggested that even the pain was a joy. There was a small plastic tube taped to her face, running from that smile to the water cooler bottle beside the chair. She had plainly meant her suicide to last. I don't want to talk about that smile. The second most horrible thing was the one that explained all the rest. From beneath her hair and snaking to the wall socket was the wire. If a person who indulges in gluttony is a glutton, and a person who commits a felony is a felon, then God is an item! Venue 11, Studio Multimedia. Woo!